Hello, welcome to tutu.com Facebook tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about how to hoop a classical tutu. Hi everybody, I'm Claudia and I thought first I would show you all the different kinds of hoop wire uh, that we carry. The heavy duty one is half inch wide hoop wire. And it's got a plastic coating on it. The, the wire is coated with something that keeps the wire from rusting, which is really, really good in a tutu because when you tape, you overcross and tape your ends together, sometimes this little bit right here um, of metal will get rusty you know, when, when it gets wet with sweat and then it'll leave rust stains on a light colored tutu. This hoop won't do that. None of our hoops will do that. Anyway, the half inch is great if you're looking for a really stable tutu, something that might have heavier um, trims and decorations on the plate. Um, it's nice because it doesn't bounce around a lot. Um, dancers tell me that it's, it's really good for pirouettes. We also carry the same type of hoop, but an eighth of an inch less wide. You can see that an eighth of an inch is actually a big deal. Um, it makes a big difference. So it's much lighter. Uh, and this one's really nice too because it also doesn't rust uh, and you can dye it and paint it. Then we have natural rod hooping, which is a PVC based hoop that can be painted with anything. You could paint this with watercolors and it wouldn't come off no matter what. You don't have to buy anything special. You don't have to wait. You don't have to do anything except paint it. Uh, it's very lightweight and it's very strong also. Um, you know, so I mean, there's there's lots of choices. It just depends on on um, what you prefer and the, the how you want your tutu to move. The lightest weight hoop is called nylon rod, and it is it's a nylon base. Comes in black or white, um, and it's really good if you're doing a, kind of a contemporary sculptural <laughs> sculptural tutu where you want to twist things up. Um, this and the natural rod are fusible also. Um, once you get the right size into your tutu, you can, well, you have to be careful if it's in a tutu, but you can <laughs> light them on fire and squish the ends together and you won't be able to pull them apart. You will have to get your bolt cutters out to get them apart. So that's what we have. Those are the four kinds we have right now and we are adding others and when we do I'll do a video on that. Anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out where the hoop is on this tutu and it's right in the middle. We tend to put our hoop casings in the center so that we can hide the hoop. Um, it just makes more sense. Also, it's easier to partner if the hoop is out at the edge. Um, then the guy standing behind the girl trying to partner her for pirouettes has to bend over. Um, or he has to stand too close and push the hoop so that, sh you know, the tutu shoots up in the front and you get a crotch shot. Neither is acceptable. So the first thing we're going to do is figure out how big we want this hoop to be. So I'm going to look and figure out kind of where the casing is. And... I'm just gonna kind of guess, and I'm going to cut it big because I like to have overlap. Hopefully these bolt cutters work. I didn't test them out. They do, ta-da. <laughs> now, rather than taping the end, which it really is a pain because when you tape the end and you put the hoop into the casing, the tape tends to roll up and stick. And sometimes you end up you know, having to push your hoop too hard and then you end up tearing your net and everything. So we use pen caps. This one is actually a little bit too small um, for the um, half inch hoop. So we broke it and then taped it together so we could make it the perfect size. And you just, when you, when you use this, you just, it goes into the tutu really, really easy. I think it's too big. Yeah, it's a little too big. You could just use it, it'll stay on. But where is the yellow one? It probably fell on the floor. Let's see. 
can't see the yellow one. The yellow one over here. The... I see the pen. Um, is there another one? Is it? Yeah. All right, because, yeah, I see the thing. Anyway, this size tends to work well for the 3 8 There. You just kind of squish it in there. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is figure out where the back of this tutu is. This tutu has not been steamed um, yet, so it's a little bit fluffy. Um, I always start at the back because then I know where my hoop is going to be put together. And I, if I have to adjust it, I can find it easily. And I don't have to untack the whole tutu. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is figure out where the back end of this tutu is. Oh, before I do that, I'm going to make sure it's hooked up. Okay, you don't want to put a tutu, um, a hoop in a tutu with the back end open because if it's open like this, it spreads the panty out and you're probably going to put too much hoop in. And then when you do it up later, the tutu is going to duck up at the back. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is make sure that you hook up your tutu at least at that, um, you know, high hip area. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna turn it over. And this tutu hasn't been steamed yet. Um, you know, so we would normally um, steam all these layers first. But anyway, um, I would find, I find the back opening. Now, I cut apart each of these pieces uh, after we put the hoop casings um, together because it's easier to insert a hoop if there, if the, layer is in pieces so you can get to the end of the piece and easily pull the hoop through and straighten it out there like that and then go on to the next piece now if you don't straighten it out if you just keep shoving the hoop through your casing you end up with this big ball and this tutu that's kind of all mushed up in a big ball and then you have to try and straighten it out it's way easier if you straighten it out as you go it only takes about three minutes to hoop a tutu then all right so there we've got the second piece in now this is 72 inch wide very wide tutu net um and so there's probably maybe three three and a half pieces in it so now i'm going to put it to another one So there I find it. And this one is made with a separate hoop casing. Sometimes we do a double row for this row. Um, it depends on the look you want for your tutu, how soft you want the look, how strong you need it, how much decoration you're gonna put on it. I mean, there's a million different you know, reasons to do what people do with tutus. <laughs> All right, so now we only have a little more to go because it looks like this was a very small panty, extra small, and so we didn't even need a whole half of a piece. But you always want to make sure that you have enough, even if you only have a little piece here, you have to make sure that you have enough hoop in there so that um, there's not a nude opening at the back. <laughs> Right, so now, now this is um, easier to do on a Lazy Susan because you can just turn the Lazy Susan um, while you're pulling on your tutu. There you go. So we get it nice and flat. There. All right. So now you got to figure out what to do with the back. So I'm going to take off my pen cap first of all, um, and then I'm going to tape it together. Uh, I tend to leave, you know, enough to have a little bit of an overlap, maybe six inches, because you may, you may find that you want to push more hoop into the casings to make the tutu flatter, or you may want to pull it tighter to give it more of a bell shape. Um, in general, the first thing I do is I, I figure out where it naturally sits, and I hold it there, can you see that? And I pull it about an inch, okay? So that, that's my beginning place. And then I take some tape, I gotta 
can you cut some tape for me? Thank you. And we'll cut that little thing off too. And I tape it in the middle first. And I use a good, strong, clear packing tape that um, will withstand water so that, uh, you know, it holds up under sweat conditions. There we go. You can also use uh, electrical tape. Works really well, and that's kind of cool because you can get that in different colors. So now I'm gonna cut two more pieces of my tape. One. Two. I'm pull down the corner and make it easier to find it later. And I'm gonna take the two ends. There, like that. All right, here we go. So, I tape across both ends and the middle. Now, the hoop may not be in the perfect position. Once, you know, you get it in there, you might have to make changes. I don't know, it depends on the shape. Um, so I've got the hoop in and it's taped nice and even and I've gone back around a time or two and made sure that everything is laying where I want it to lay and evenly. And once I feel good about that, I can flip the tutu over and it now has a hoop in it. So and you can see where the hoop is and then it's going to sit with just a slight downward curve from the hip, which is where I want it to sit. Um, you don't want your tutu to look like a flying saucer. If it's too far flat out this way, it's going to actually look like it sticks up. Um, it has to have a little downward slope to be, um, to look good on the human body especially the American booty. That's it.